Hello everyone. This is Bhupesh. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So today we are doing another very, very important session. I would say you will not find anything on Google and on YouTube pertaining to the topic. So as we spoke about Grafana Alloy in our last session, we installed Grafana Alloy on Ubuntu, uh, you know, VM machine and then how to get the metrics from Grafana Alloy VM to the uh, Grafana Cloud instance. We are capturing all the matrices from VM. Now this session is all about how to get the matrices from Kubernetes cluster. Since we all know Grafana agent is deprecated and it will go away soon. So let's understand a good use case on how to collect matrices from a Kubernetes cluster using Grafana alloy, not using Grafana agent. Okay. And then send it to the uh, Grafana or Prometheus instance. So in this case, I'll be sending it to a Grafana cloud. So do watch this session very you know slowly because i'll be using a grafana alloy installation on kubernetes cluster i'll be installing node exporter i'll be shipping all that infra infra met from node exporter of that cluster to using grafana alloy to grafana cloud so i'll be using grafana cloud also so there are multiple things that are used in this session no installation of node exporter installation of grafana alloy on kubernetes cluster and then sending it to uh, grafana cloud instance so yeah, that is pretty much. This is only theory. Only theory. I do it in my sessions. Let's quickly jump onto the uh, practical implementation of it. I have a GitHub page which tells you how we are going to perform in this session. So we'll follow this GitHub page, you know, ASAP. And I have a Grafana Cloud instance which I've created in my previous session. If you do not know, you can simply go and watch it. You can see this is a free subscription. And you know, uh, and and if I quickly come here and then see. There is no matrices which is there. If I click these, there are no matrices. So we'll ship uh, the infrastructure matrix of that mini cube cluster to this Grafana Cloud instance to capture or to monitor that mini cube cluster using Grafana Alloy. I hope you are clear with the agenda. Let's quickly do that. So I have a mini cube cluster up and running. Okay. So K get NS is nothing but cube GT, cube get NS. K is the you know uh, I, would, I would say uh, shortcut I have kept it in my file. So this is the mini uh, uh, mini cube cluster that I have pinned up on my Ubuntu machine. Welcome onto my uh, documentation. This is where we can uh, install you know bring up my mini cube cluster. If you do not know, you can simply follow this documentation. Let's quickly uh, jump and install a node exporter onto this cluster. So let me see. I have a, uh, a matrix namespace. So let me just quick switch uh, to matrix namespace. So KNS matrices is nothing but cube serial set context namespace equals to matrices. So you can see earlier videos how to set KNS and KTS context and namespace within the cluster. Okay. So in this cluster, this active namespace is matrices. Perfect. Now I'll just install node exporter. Can I see if there anything in this? There are no pods running into this namespace. So first of all, I'll install node exporter to bring up the infrastructure metrics or to bring up the infrastructure metrics pertaining to the cluster. So I'll do a repo update and then I'll install node exporter. Helm chart. I hope you have understanding of Helm chart. If you not, you can quickly install Helm binary and get an understanding of how to run Helm chart. So I'll do a Helm list. So you can see uh, the node exporter chart has been installed. I can do HL also shortcut. KGP is nothing but cube detail get pod. So I have my node exporter pod running successfully. I'll see we get service. So there's a service which is running already with this. Let me do a port forward of this service to 9100 so that I can see whether the uh, node exporter is capturing matrices or not. I'm going very, very slow, but this is a very, very important session. If you have really not watched it, the Grafana alloy, you can simply go ahead and do that. So we have not touched Grafana alloy. So we have simply installed node exporter on my mini cube cluster and is exposing the matrices, the infrastructure matrices of this cl small cluster, single node cluster. Now we'll do the installation of Grafana alloy agent to send these matrices to Grafana cloud. So I'll do everything to the same namespace to avoid any confusion. I'll simply cancel this you know, connection. Okay, I'll add this Grafana repository. I'll do repo update. 
and this is already created so it will give me an error and matrix is already there now you see the statement i am doing a helm installation of alloy helm chart from this repository in this metric uh, in this namespace so i'll do just helm install now what this will do it will just if you really want to understand what is the content of this helm chart you can simply do help pull also and then it will uh, if you run this command it will pull all the content of helm chart into your current directory and it will look something you know look like this so this is the helm chart that i have installed let me first of all see whether my helm chart is running or not so alloy helm chart is up and running and the pod is also running so this is grafana alloy uh, yeah, pod that is running so this is a complete helm chart that it has executed okay fine so my uh, you know separate entities are running grafana oil is running separately and node exporter is running separately they are not talking to each other there is no communication we'll set up a communication so that this guy will pick up matrices from this and will send to grafana cloud okay now that there is the next step so i have already installed grafana alloy uh, vanilla but i will now configure grafana alloy so that it can read data from node exporter and then send that data to grafana cloud now this piece is very very important so there's a there's a file called as config map dot alloy so i've created a config map raw file and we'll create a config map from this and this is the grafana alloy configuration if you have watched my earlier video you can uh, you might have seen this this is the scraping that i want to do it so i want to scrape node export endpoint which is running on 9100 on this cluster ip let me see my cluster ip is same or different get that service so my cluster ip is this 1043 uh, 241 and 12 so so basically what i'm saying i'm then i am having my node export running on this ip i want to read the data from this ip from 9100 uh, port and metric send point and send this data to this remote right now what is this remote right from which this remote right is nothing but the remote right which is sending to grafana cloud so uh, see this url so i am just saying please send this data to uh, this grafana cloud url if you do not know how to get this url you can watch my previous videos on grafana cloud uh, how to send matrices to grafana cloud and then this is the basic auth and then the password so password i will copy the api token from grafana cloud instance uh, this is the api token that have i that i have explained earlier also i'll save it now this is the, the configuration file of your grafana alloy okay now i'll create a config map from this perfect i'll come on to this i'll create a config map now before i create a config map let, i want to show one more thing if you see kubectl uh, get config map so there's already a config map created by default from this helm chart okay minus o yaml this is the config map that is already being created by this uh, Grafana alloy helm chart. So what I'll do, we'll, uh, first of all, we will use create this uh, you know config map, and then we'll use this config map. So you'll see now another config map got created. So this we created it three seconds ago, five seconds ago, and this was created as a part of helm chart. Now we need to upgrade our helm chart. What I'm doing, upgrade my uh, the alloy helm chart with this values.yml file so this is the values.yml file which is there in the same repository now what i'm doing in this uh, i'm saying please upgrade my helm chart and do not create config map by default either use the config map which i have already created in my cluster so what i'm saying do not create config map by default but use it which is already there with this name okay you see alloy config which i created just now before the running this helm chart so let's run this guy it will upgrade my helm chart okay okay this has been upgraded i'll see the version revision is 2 uh, i'll just see k get config map do you see the helm chart config map has been deleted now i'll see kgp now pod is coming up uh, you can see 14 seconds it will take some time to come up so once this pod is up so ultimately what i'm saying grafana alloy please use this configuration and read the matrices from uh, you know this 
endpoint and send this data to Grafana cloud, right? That is what we are saying in uh, in this Helm chart, correct? So let me see. Now pod is running. Let me quickly see the log from this pod. Is is there any uh, uh, error in these logs in the pod logs? Okay. Okay, so there are no error. Everything is green, and there there are no proper warnings. Also, it is going to this push. And let me see kubectl get events. Is there anything? Uh, kev kubectl get events. There is nothing in this. Okay, so I think we are pretty much fine. Let me quickly go to my. Uh, I will validate the matrices on my Grafana cloud. So I'll go to my cloud instance. This is my cloud instance. So you see, before we started the session. There were no matrices coming here. Now I'll just try to see whether is there any matrices that has started coming up, or have we done anything problem in our you know session or in our learning? Okay, so yeah, so you can see the uh, node exporter matrices have started floating, uh, you know, as we speak. So that is pretty much so matrices have started coming up. So now we will import the node exporter dashboard just to see whether uh, the uh, you know whether the uh, data is coming nicely as a dashboard also. So I'll just import this node exporter dashboard. You know the number is one eight six zero. I'll just do a load, and then uh, I'll just select the Grafana Cloud Prometheus instance. I'll do a click import. So it will populate everything, and we'll just do a last five minutes, and it will. Show you the data also. So you see now the data is also coming nicely and the dashboard is properly loaded. So yeah, that is pretty much on this topic. Uh, let me quickly summarize what we have done so far. Is there anything left in this? There's nothing left. So what we have done so far, we have you know installed uh, node exporter just to capture the matrices from that mini cube cluster. Then we installed Grafana alloy vanilla. Without any configurations, just you know, it was a vanilla installation, and then we configure our Grafana alloy agent just to read matrices from node exporter endpoint and send those matrices to Grafana cloud instance, or you can send it to your local Grafana or local Prometheus, and add that Prometheus as a data source in Grafana, and uh, and then finally we will validate the matrices on Grafana, and and then finally we validate this everything with the help of dashboard also. So that is pretty much. I'll take a pause. If you have any doubts and uh, queries on this small session, please post down into the comment section. This was a very useful session on how to implement, how to install Grafana Alloy on Kubernetes. If you have any complex use cases, please, uh, you know, kept in in the uh, uh, comment section. If you have any feedback sessions, uh, feedback, anything related to this, please share it. And yes, last but not least, do not forget to like and subscribe the channel. And press the bell icon so that you can get all the updates related to Grafana, Elasticsearch, Kubernetes, Open Telemetry is again very vast topic, and and so on. So so stay tuned. We'll be coming more videos or sessions on Grafana, Grafana alloy. Till then, goodbye. Take care.